Hello everyone, I'm Hanna Tietgat and I'm here to give you the basics of human milk oligosaccharides or HMOs. Human milk is the golden standard of infant feeding at the start of life. It has all the ingredients to support healthy infant development, including all bioactives to nurture the development of its microbiome and immune system. HMOs form the third most abundant solid component of human milk. These molecules are almost unique to human milk, as most common HMOs are not present or only to a very minor extent in animal milk, like for instance cow's milk. HMOs are elongations of lactose and over 160 structures have been described so far. They are classified as neutral fucosylated, silylated acidic HMOs and neutral HMOs. They cannot be digested by the infant, but specifically support the microbiome and immune system. Human milk fed infants born vaginally have a typical peak of bifidobacterial abundance in the early months of life. Infants receiving cow milk based formula have no such bifidobacterial dominance in the first months of life. And we see that they have a more rapid diversification of their microbiome. This showcases the link between HMOs and a normal microbiome maturation trajectory in early life, with human milk being the optimal food to support the infant in this crucial time window. Over the course of breastfeeding, the constitution of HMOs in the milk changes, further adapting to the needs of the developing infant. At Nestle Research, we strive to understand more about HMOs and their functional role. Research has shown that HMOs also play a role in cognitive development, strengthening of the gut barrier system, immune system development, bone health, and so forth. Next to being a rich source of nutrition, human milk contains a myriad of bioactive components. HMOs are of particular interest as they are not used as nutrition, but support the development of an infant's microbiome and immune system. By studying HMOs and HMO mixtures, we can evaluate how they influence the development of an infant's immune system and the microbiome. This enables us to close the structural and functional gap between infant formula and human milk. We are currently evaluating a clinical trial in which we tested formula comprising five HMOs, representing a large portion of what is found in human milk. The first results indicate that this formula is safe, well tolerated and pushes the microbiome development closer to what we see in human milk fed infants. We see a rise of bifidobacteria in early life, as well as a decrease in several key pathogens. The five HMOs furthermore affect gut ecology and key immune markers positively, similar to what we see in breastfed infants, compared to the ones that do not receive a non-HMO supplemented formula. We will keep making strides to understand the importance of different HMOs and other bioactives in human milk. Our goal is to give infants without access to human milk the best possible alternative and best possible start in life.